I was asked to do a little, say a little something personal about uh, my dad before we got started, so I thought I'll just share this one little thing. Uh, when my husband and I came back, uh, I'd gone to college in the United States and uh, met Ken, and we got married, and we were coming to work in Gaza in medical work. We came to work uh, at the hospital in Gaza. I was a nurse. He's a medical microbiologist. And uh, so I was back in the land, and I and, uh, saw a lot of friends as I came back. We actually studied Beth in Bethlehem. We studied Arabic. And so I saw many friends at Narkis uh, congregation. And some of the people came and started talking to me and asking me questions. One of them came up to me and said, you know, I can't understand it. Your parents have six kids, and not one of them has been rebellious. What do you attribute to this lack of rebelliousness in, in, uh, in your family? So at the time, I thought, well, the best that I, I could think is that my dad was always available to us. If he was working in an office, and we could interrupt him any time of the day, and he would stop whatever he, we, he was doing. Uh, my brothers, when we lived in Tiberias, if they went in and said, we want to go fishing, uh, it was not at all unlikely that he would just drop everything he's doing and take off to go fishing. Uh, so I said, well, it must be because he spent a lot of time with us. He was always avail available. We had picnics and went camping. Camped through Europe one summer uh, with six kids, aged from about um, oh, uh, 15, I think. 15 down to two-year-old, and, uh, and it was fun. I remember our life as being just a lot of fun. Uh, lately, though, I've been thinking and, uh, and thinking about the same uh, question. You know, why is it? Because many people who have wonderful parents and they still rebel. And then I came to the conclusion, it's because both of my parents were so rebellious. There wasn't any room for us to do anything, <laughs> anything new. So uh, uh, tonight, uh, um, my sister will share a little, maybe a thing or two, and my husband, uh, uh, who has written an, a biography of, of my dad's life, and probably knows more about him than most of his own kids do, and he'll share a little bit with you tonight. Uh, but I really feel it's a great privilege to talk to you today, to be here in Jerusalem, and to honor these wonderful uh, men that we've been talking about, uh, David Flusser, Robert Lindsay, and Shmuel Safrayi.